In this video, I am going to be sharing with you how to identify those rally base rally and drop base drop zones on your price charts. So by the end of this video, you are going to have a much better understanding of how to identify which are those correct candles and how to look to trade them. Welcome supply and demand traders. I'm Jonathan, the founder of Northcliffe X Trader, where in this channel, I like to show you my tips and tricks to make you a better supply and demand trader. And as I said in the intro of this video, in today's video, we're gonna go over to the charts now and start identifying those rally base rally and drop base drop zones of supply and demand so you can easily find them on your price charts. Let's go over to the charts now. So I'm on the EURUSD pair, and the first thing we're gonna do is just go back in price. You can see where this market has been going. So we had this drop down and we had this strong move up. Now you may have been trading this pair just lately, and you may have been watching the way the markets move with areas of supply and demand. Now remember, we have a rally base rally and a drop base drop are those zones of continuation. And you have different zones of supply and demand, which is gonna be that rally base drop and that drop base rally. Now these are some zones which you can learn on other videos, but I will do a video later on if that's something you'd like to see on those zones as well. So let's now look at how you're going to identify these zones. This is your high in the market, and this is going to be when the market drops down, removing this low, is gonna be the first area where we have that zone of a rally base drop. Then we have this drop base drop. This becomes a zone of what? Supply. Let's remove everything. And this is your zone you would draw. Now you cannot draw that zone until the market breaks the low of this candle. When we see this candle dropping down, that becomes a valid zone. Now you can see it's a fresh area of supply and if you want to learn more on fresh and tested zones, I'll leave a link above now for a video where you can go through and learn about those. You can see the market does come back into that zone but it's very short lived with a pullback and then we see the continuation. But at this point, I wouldn't be trading this based on this large rally to the upside removing previous areas of supply. So again, let's continue down with this market we see a drop, we have a pullback, and this becomes a choppy market at this point. And eventually we have a drop removing this low, creating this drop base drop. So again, when this low is removed, here we create this area of supply. Now again, this didn't work, and I'll show you exactly why. After we see this drop down, we create another drop base drop and this will create this area of supply which then did have a small reaction there and then we see the breakthrough now you're not going to win every trade now it's key that you understand whatever type of trader you are whether it's with price action supply and demand or even a indicator based strategy you will have losing trades it's part of doing business and once you overcome that emotion of actually losing a trade, you will be able to go forward and become profitable. That is the main thing I find many traders are struggling with. So again, once we've seen the market breaking this area of a drop base drop, remember that's a drop base drop, we then see the market create this rally base rally when it removes the area of supply. So then we'd mark out this as our area of demand. It's a rally base rally. The market didn't come back to test it and we continued higher. We then moved sideways and we continued higher once again. And again, once this market removed the high of that candle, we would draw it out as an area of demand. Now, unfortunately, we're not always going to capture entries. And again, we never came back to that demand, but it's still a fresh area of demand left on your chart. After that, we can see the market continues up. 
We make a sideways motion and we rally higher once again. And again, that's going to leave you this area of demand. Now there are a couple of ways you can draw your zones. And if you want to actually learn more on this type of concept, then why not check out that free basics of supply and demand course? And you'll be able to find that course linked above on this video. Go through, watch that video, and you'll be able to sign up for that free course today. So after the market continues higher, we pull back, we continue up. Now these zones are gonna be more of a rally base, rally still. And you can see the market does come back. We have a manipulation, it breaks those lows, and we continue higher. Now that is a different type of strategy. And in fact, it's something that I'm gonna be teaching and sharing in a new course for Forex Domination. So when the market actually comes up to here, we base and we drop back down. So that is now again a rally base drop. This becomes a drop base rally. And that's something you learn in that free basics course. So once we start seeing the market continue up, we then do have a rally base, again, drop base rally. And what that creates is an area of demand sitting right here, where we can now see the market has actually come back, tested it once, twice, actually three times. Now, that is understanding what you would learn in those previous videos on my supply and demand. I suggest actually going through, watching this first video and working your way through this channel. It's gonna help you to identify these zones much easier. Now, these are the areas that you're looking for a buy off this area of demand. Now, it's a tested zone, which you would learn when you go through that fresh and tested zone supply and demand video. And it comes deeper and deeper again, and the market continues to pick up more orders. Now what this means is eventually we're gonna see another bullish move higher. So how do you know which zones are the best zones to use? Well, what we've been through on this move down, move up, you've learned the best zones to draw. Now not every zone is going to be a winning trade. And when you find these types of zones with a manipulation to downside, there's a reason this is happening. And you most probably want to go down to a lower time frame to see that. And that could very well be an area of imbalance, which we'll look at doing in a future video. In fact, if you want to see a video based on imbalance in this market with supply and demand, then leave me a comment below and let me know it's something you want to see in the future. And of course, if you're enjoying this video so far, then give me that thumbs up. It's going to help me to know you're enjoying this content. So when we see the market actually come back into this area of demand, and the majority of the time with a big candle like this, your final test is gonna come at that 50%, and that's right where price now come into. Now, a rally base rally drop base drop zone does not only just work on a daily time frame, but also work on any time frame. It is fractal in nature. So if we actually go now to a weekly time frame. I do suggest using these on the higher time frames because they're going to be more successful. We do have this rally base rally on this weekly time frame. And this is valid, this zone, once we see the high broken on that bullish candle. Then we have a pullback on this next bearish candle and we rally higher. That is where you can capture your entry on a lower time frame. Now that is understanding a confirmation entry. And if you haven't watched that three part series on the confirmation entry, then I will leave the link above now to that first video, which is trends within trends, then go through and watch the next two videos with market structure and that confirmation entry. That is a great way to look for a trade when you're seeing this type of price coming back into a weekly area of a previous rally base rally. So as you can see, it works even on a weekly time frame. So as I said, it's fractal nature. Let's go down to one hour time frame and look at a previous era on a one hour. But remember, the lower the time frame you go down to, the more likely you're having a losing trade. So for myself, I suggest do not go lower than a daily time frame if you're just learning supply and demand. That is the lowest you need to do. To be honest, in my own trading, I very, very rarely go any lower than a four hour time frame using a rally base rally or drop base drop zone. What they are showing you is a continuation of a trend in the market. 
And very often you'll find that these zones will remove previous areas of a ready base ready or drop base drop. So let's look at a previous area. I want to see a nice trending area in the market. So here is a nice area. We see the market creating this base at the high. We drop, base, drop. So there's your first zone. You can draw this zone out. There is two ways of drawing a zone out. Either you can draw the zone from the low of the wick to the high, or you can draw it from the open price of that candle. Now you can see if we was to draw it from the wick, we actually get into this trade on that wick of that candle. So it's up to you how you want to look at drawing it. Myself, I would draw it from the body of the candle, but on some occasions I will draw it from the wick depending on the type of candlestick. And again, that is something you'll learn on previous videos. This is all about that rally base rally and that drop base drop. We continue to drop, we then create this basing area. Again, you can see the market does not come into it until this candle here. We actually close that candle on this bearish candle. Let me just go closer into this. This is how you can use with a one hour and capture a trade with a falling market. So we go into price. Now we just have to find that area now I was on. So this is the area. So when we see this candle, the low of that candle is closed by this bearish candle, then you would draw your zone. And it's here, you see we have a pullback on the next candle where you could go down to a five minute entry or even a one minute entry and you can capture a trade from there off that zone to downside. And again, that is understanding the confirmation entry when I said go through those three videos. So that is the way you can apply it to a one hour time frame. As you've seen, I've gone through a daily, a weekly, a one hour. This works on any time frame. As I said at the beginning of this video, you're not going to win every trade. There is no trader out there who will win every single trade. They will lose trades. The rally base rally, drop base drop zones, remember are continuation entries, and they're not going to be as highly effective as the standard rally base drop and the drop base rally zones. They're going to give you much more higher percentage win rate. Again, let's look at a 15 minute time frame. Current price, we don't even need to go anywhere, we'll look at current price. We see the market has broken out of this structure in the market, we've dropped down. So this is our basing area, we've dropped, we've created this drop base drop. So let me just show you again, let's go into price. Once we see this candle, Say, so we see this candle close down and we actually remove this previous low. We can then draw this area of supply. This is our drop base drop. We come back into it, we come into the zone and we have the drop away. It's as simple as that. There's no complicated method of understanding it. Now it all depends on why there was a trade here. You would look at the higher time frames with the use of multiple time frames. There's a video on the channel which teaches you about multiple time frames, so go through and watch that video. This is going to help you to understand it. Now, of course, any of these concepts you're not quite sure, rewind this video and watch it again. It may take you two or three times to watch this video to really understand it. Make sure you understand it before you go away and apply this on your charts. I see many people watch these videos go away thinking they can apply it instantly and they start having loads of losing trades, they come back, they complain because it's not working. It's because you're not reading the markets correctly. I wouldn't take this trade here unless there was a reason on a higher time frame. Let me give you an example, go to the four hour time frame. What do we see on a four hour? All we're seeing is the market in a sideways motion right here. There's no reason for me to take a sell at the moment. If I was to see a sell of this area, and let me just actually go into price and we'll use a line. So this area here, and I had an entry here. So let's go down to 15 minute again. So we see this area. Now, unfortunately there isn't a drop here, which gives me a drop base drop until here. This will be my zone. Now that would be where I'd be looking for an entry after the false breakout on a higher time frame. 
Looking to the left, we don't actually come back into that zone until over here. Now you can see it actually comes in, test it there, drops away all the way down to these lows before it goes up and takes that zone. So even that was a good trade you could have taken. Let me just show you that once again. We drop base and we create this area of supply. Now you may not have had this order still sitting here, but if you had, you'd watch the market as it came back, it comes into your entry. Where will be your first target? These lows, which is hit either on that candle or this push down before it goes back higher. And then it would have stopped you out, but the first trade would have been profitable. And all of that you get from the information of seeing a higher time frame manipulation. Now I wouldn't have probably taken this trade because looking at a daily time frame, it's not a nice looking market. It actually looked quite choppy to me. There is a manipulation there, but there wasn't a good trade. So I'm just gonna go now quickly to a pound US dollar and show you the same thing. So on the pound US dollar, and here is a previous day's high, and this in fact is a trade that I took. And you can see that we made a manipulation. We go down to a 15 minute time frame. And let me just find where this happens. This is that area. This is that previous daily high right here. And if I zoom into price. Okay, so this is where you're going to look for the start of that drop base drop. So we create this high, we drop, we make a base and we drop. Remember, a basing candle is one candle. You can have a basing of two, but we start off with this base here, which is gonna be your rally base drop. Then we have a drop base drop. Now it's going to be confirmed once this low has been taken out. It's taken on that candle. Once it's taken on that candle, I would draw this as my zone. We can see the market comes back in drops out. What does that do once again? Let's just remove those two arrows. We then break the low of that candle, continue down, we break this low as well, and we break this low here. That then leaves, and this is a better zone for me, leaves this area of supply, where the market then pulls back into, which is where it's a perfect entry. Now this is actually a trade that I caught, and if you're not in my free Discord room, then I'll leave a link below to the free Discord room where you'll see this trade actually caught in real time. Now this is where the trade, you can see it drops to the downside, we have another pullback, continues to fall. And that is where you can capture trades like this when you understand the correct area to look for that drop base drop or that rally base rally. Now I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you have, give me that thumbs up so I know you're enjoying this content. And leave a comment below if there's anything else you want to see in this channel going forward. And I hope you've learned something new today going through this video. And if you're ready to go through to the next video, you'll find one popping up right now for you to go through and continue with your training.